Hi, I'm here with Marissa and Jed, and we're talking about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4. So the first thing I want to ask you guys is the announcement was made a while ago that when you guys come back for your fourth season, you're going to be airing in a later time slot. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to know what the thought process was behind taking it out of its old time slot and pushing it back a little bit later. Um, well, these decisions are made by people who are... We are, didn't make that decision, yeah, to be honest. <laughs> but, um, but I think that the general thinking is that as we move into deeper into our season count, uh, that our fans will follow us wherever we go. Sure. And also, it will free us up to do some of the things we plan to do this year, which is move things in a slightly darker direction, uh, uh, which was evidenced by the announcement of Ghost Rider today. I right. did. I, I will be, well, I'm sure, the umpteenth person to ask you about Ghost Rider. It's, and it's not, important to note, not the Johnny Blaze iteration that I feel like a lot of people know from, among other things, the Nicolas Cage opus from a few years ago. How did you go about saying, yeah, we're going to use Ghost Rider this season, we're going to use this version of Ghost Rider, and right. how is he going to play off of our established cast? Those are the exact questions that we sort of had in our minds as we were approaching working with that character. But, you know, Marvel, Marvel basically said, we have this, this, this. We said, yes, that, please. Yes. And so it's Ghost Rider. Um, doing the Robbie Reyes version of the character is very interesting to us. We don't have any characters like him on the show as far as his background goes. So sort of exploring his life and what that means. It also is a new comic. It gives us a little more freedom to sort of do what we want with it and... and, and I mean, we always and take our, our liberties own. with the properties, but with him, since he is such a new comic, um, we can, we we can, can really define who new. he is. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, that's really exciting. I, I do want to ask, and then I'll obviously let you guys go, you put the team through the ringer so severely in season three. These these nice, lovely people. Uh, these awful things keep happening. Right. Fitzsimmons kissed and they're together. There There's was, that. Yeah. That was lovely. That right. warmed my heart. Don't. Uh, Th that was my question. Do I do I get to have little moments of niceness, warmth, fun, happiness for these guys, or does it just keep getting worse and worse for well, them? I will say, with our 10 p.m. slot, it's not only darker and edgier, but probably sexier. Um, maybe there will be more couplings. Yes. Um, so maybe that's something to look forward to. And I will. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for your time.